Today I have something new to unbox, and this could be the best portable espresso machine on the market as of today. It costs somewhere between $100 and $150, and it solves one of the problems, or so say, should solve one of the problems that I believe is really, really big when it comes to traveling in espresso, and that is the heating element of things. Typically when I travel, I have a Pico Presso right here, uh, folds up in this nice case. Pretty small, inconven inconvenient, super easy to move and bring. The kettle, however, not so much. And this takes up a ton of space on a carry-on luggage. So this machine claims to make espresso and heats up the water for you all in one convenient package. And it is the Outen Portable Espresso Machine. Comes in about $100 to $150, which is about the same price as a Pico Presso and a kettle. So we're gonna be curious to see how this stacks up and what this looks like over the course of this time. So uh, coming off, I do wanna say that this was reached out to me and sent to me by Outen Espresso. And I have never seen this machine nor heard of it before. Um, so I'm really, really curious to see if this is actually going to be something good or something not good, but um, they will not see this video before I push it out. Um, they did exchange a couple of, the deal was basically for me to make a couple videos for Instagram uh, with this thing and in exchange for it. So uh, we'll see what this looks like and how this comes off. So starting off, I have the silicone piece here, this porta, uh, porta filter which does take capsules and it can go without capsules. Comes with this nice little felt bag um, on top of the case, which I don't know if I'll actually use the case or not, or just use this felt bag. And here we have it. Looks like put some hot water in the top here, put a lid in there and it will boil it um, by clicking the power button, um, which it is on. Uh, I'm just kind of messing with this. This is the first time I've ever seen it really don't know much about it. Um, comes in a nice little cup here, uh, which I don't know if you have to use that cup or you can use that own cup or if it's supposed to be a cup in itself. Uh, this looks like a capsule of some, this looks like the capsule portion of it. And this looks like the porta filter maybe. Like I said, new to it. Yep, this is a porta filter here. Um, okay, so we have this bottom piece here, and then we have, I think, the dispersion screen, the porta filter that goes on top, goes on like that, and then you uh, you close it by turning it, I believe. I don't know. Like like I said, I really don't know what this machine does and entail. We're learning it together as I take it apart right now. Um, so maybe this is, nope. So this is a perfect reason of what I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Um, new things are always intriguing to me. Um, so it looks like this maybe just presses on there like so. And then you turn it in. And I think you could either brew it directly like that or you could brew it into your own cup simply by turning it on and heating up. So this says it heats up cold water uh, five times. So you can have this five times before it needs recharge and it will brew your shot of espresso for you. If it's at a hotter temperature, if it's colder water, it kind of varies the amount of times that you can do it based off of what temperature the water is. But it says about five times, which I think is a good starting point for it. It charges here on the back with a nice convenient USB-C port, which is gonna be super convenient because I already carry those around for my camera and all these other things. Comes with a nice cloth. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, it has like little punch outs and why that's a thing. It comes with this, I think this is the little tamper for it, um, which that part, I'm really curious to see how this is gonna be because it doesn't look like it holds a ton of coffee, um, which could be a little bit of a concern. Um, because it looks like the scoop is, it looks like it's like a seven gram dose. Like it looks tiny um, when it comes to that. And the tamper doesn't fit flush and perfect, uh, but it does, the scoop fits nice in the cup. So 
yeah, this is the Outen portable espresso machine. It feels decently built. Um, it's plastic, but it feels like it's going to be pretty durable plastic. It feels like I can throw it around. It doesn't seem like if I take this as it is right here and I threw this in a bag inside the sleeve without the case, I think it would fit pretty well. Um, so you're moving all of this right here into that. So it takes up a significant amount less space. It's like kind of like a common Dante hand grinder that's maybe a little thicker and a little taller. Um, but other than that, seems well built, seems small, seems compact, compacted, and I'm excited to give this a go. Uh, again, thank you to Outen for sending this over. And if you are curious to see what this machine is, how this works, how this stacks up with the uh, Pico Presto, please like and subscribe, and that content will be coming to you shortly. Thank you so much for watching.